Unit 7. Management Styles. Track 20. First of all, thanks very much for coming to my presentation. I'm Jason Harding, Sales Manager of Quench Products. I'm going to tell you about our new iced tea that will be launched early next March. I hope by the end of my presentation you'll understand what a unique product we're offering and want to place a large order for it. OK, what is Quench Iced Tea? What are its unique features? Quench Iced Tea is available in several flavours – lemon, green, strawberry and grape. And it comes in sweetened, unsweetened and diet versions of the drink. It's a delicious, healthy, thirst-quenching drink. And the fact that we offer it in different versions will give it a definite edge over the competition. I want to stress that. In other words, it's got a wide appeal. As you all know, I'm sure, customers buy iced drinks for different reasons. For instance, many people are watching their weight, so they'll buy the diet version. Others do sports and will want to buy the sweetened version that will give them extra energy. Another key feature of Quench Iced Tea is that it contains a very high percentage of vitamins, especially vitamin C and E. This will undoubtedly appeal to health-conscious customers. And that's a major selling point of our product. Unit 7. Management Styles. Track 21. Turning now to the tea itself, as you know, our company uses only high quality tea, selected by hand, and we add pure spring water. What about the packaging? It's so important to get that right, isn't it? Please take a look at the slide. As you can see, the drink is packaged in single serve and multi serve bottles. What about sizes? 14 ounces for single serve, 55 fluid ounces for multi serve. What does this mean? It means that once again we're offering customers choice. You can see from the slide that the bottles are beautifully designed, very eye catching and appealing. They'll really stand out on the shelf. So, to summarise, we're offering customers a unique, delicious, thirst quenching product. A product that'll appeal to different tastes and which has outstanding design. It'll be available for supermarkets and retailers early in March and will be supported by a comprehensive marketing programme. We're confident it'll be warmly welcomed by health-conscious consumers. I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. I've provided you with an information pack. In it, you'll find a link to a website where you can download photos and more information about Quench Iced Tea. Thanks very much, everyone. Any questions? Unit 7. Management Styles. Track 20. First of all, thanks very much for coming to my presentation. I'm Jason Harding, Sales Manager of Quench Products. I'm going to tell you about our new iced tea that will be launched early next March. I hope by the end of my presentation you'll understand what a unique product we're offering and want to place a large order for it. OK, what is Quench Iced Tea? What are its unique features? Quench Iced Tea is available in several flavours – lemon, green, strawberry and grape. And it comes in sweetened, unsweetened and diet versions of the drink. It's a delicious, healthy, thirst-quenching drink. And the fact that we offer it in different versions will give it a definite edge over the competition. I want to stress that. In other words, it's got a wide appeal. As you all know, I'm sure, customers buy iced drinks for different reasons. For instance, many people are watching their weight, so they'll buy the diet version. Others do sports and will want to buy the sweetened version that will give them extra energy. Another key feature of Quench Iced Tea is that it contains a very high percentage of vitamins, especially vitamin C and E. 
This will undoubtedly appeal to health-conscious customers. And that's a major selling point of our product. Unit 7. Management Styles. Track 21. Turning now to the tea itself, as you know, our company uses only high-quality tea, selected by hand, and we add pure spring water. What about the packaging? It's so important to get that right, isn't it? Please take a look at the slide. As you can see, the drink is packaged in single-serve and multi-serve bottles. What about sizes? 14 ounces for single-serve, 55 fluid ounces for multi-serve. What does this mean? It means that once again we're offering customers choice. You can see from the slide that the bottles are beautifully designed, very eye-catching and appealing. They'll really stand out on the shelf. So, to summarise, we're offering customers a unique, delicious, thirst-quenching product. A product that'll appeal to different tastes and which has outstanding design. It'll be available for supermarkets and retailers early in March and will be supported by a comprehensive marketing programme. We're confident it'll be warmly welcomed by health-conscious consumers. I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. I've provided you with an information pack. In it, you'll find a link to a website where you can download photos and more information about Quench Iced Tea. Thanks very much, everyone. Any questions? Unit 7. Management Styles. Track 22. I don't think Paul had any idea how to run the team. He worked very long hours, but that was the problem. The next morning he was always in a terrible mood because he hadn't had enough sleep. He was really unpleasant to us most of the time. and He was the kind of boss who makes a decision and that's it. He didn't encourage us to agree or disagree. He just wasn't interested in our opinions. He was good at telling us what to do, but not how to do it, how he wanted us to do it. For example, I interviewed a couple of our big retail customers. I thought it went well, but Paul said I hadn't asked the right questions. When I tried to get him to explain, he just said, you should know by now the kind of questions you need to ask customers. <laughs> I was really annoyed. We'd never discussed that in detail before. I'm really glad he's going. I got no feedback from him. He never spent time with us socially, so we had no opportunities to get to know him. Unit 7. Management Styles. Track 23. Did Paul have some good points? Yes. He was a strong manager, very decisive and I like that. He gave brief instructions and expected you to do the job properly. Some people didn't like that, of course. He wouldn't accept any excuses if things went wrong. But that was fair enough, I suppose. He had one weakness that upset everyone in the team. He didn't set clear goals. For instance, none of us realized we had to collect information about the incentives offered to regular customers. We didn't know that was part of the brief. And we had no idea that we had to complete our survey in France in two weeks. He simply didn't make it clear to us. He treated everyone fairly, but never really got to know us as individuals. He was too distant as a manager, I'd say. Too focused on results, not a people person. Unit 7. Management Styles. Track 24. I got on okay with Paul, but he didn't give me any work that was really interesting or challenging. I spent most of the time making appointments for the other members of the team. I got bored and sort of lost interest. I don't think he trusted me, or anyone in the team for that matter. He tried to do too much himself, so he was always under a lot of pressure and seemed very stressed. I know that quite a few of the team felt Paul didn't adapt his style to suit individual members. He seemed to have no cross-cultural skills at all. 
They treated everyone in the same way, and you can't do that when the team has such a mix of nationalities and personalities.